sometimes these to sometimes these heifers will tag. Steal them. Three. Three eight seven. Three. Eight, seven. Let's see it. It's all right. It's pretty small, but it'll work. Thank you. Yep. Deke. The sack is like perfect to open those, but I think it'll come off. As she stands up, you'll see where the umbilical cord is attached will break. And then what's hanging out is basically what the water sack that is attached to the uh, uterine wall, coming out of the uterine horns, basically where the baby had grown the whole time. And now that she's had the calf, her body will flush all of that out and she'll actually eat it. It has some nutritional value to it as well. I don't know if you could just hear that, but uh, cows have incredibly rough tongues. If you've ever been licked by like a cat or something, that's similar to what a, a cow tongue feels like. And it's they're really good at, they can get this calf like completely dry. That's very important when it's, <clears throat> when it's really cold. Um, cows, you know, older, these are first time they've ever had calves, but cows, the older ones, they'll lick them off really, really fast. And the quicker they lick them off, the quicker they'll get up and go. Tate came over for a nice quick check before uh, night time. How'd that go, Tate? <laughs> we got a real custom uh, setup here. Trying to get all these that calved in somewhere. So they don't steal each other's calves. seen 101 Dalmatians when the guy brings the puppy back to life by rubbing its chest that's essentially what Tate's doing right now just it's very effective just getting some blood circulation going really livens them up
We would actually rather you just took care of your baby. Turns out we need a couple more boards there. Freaking noisy this morning. Tate pretty much stayed up all night. He was going to check it. I think uh, two, and I was gonna check at four, and then he was gonna come and check at six. And when he came out at two, it was kind of like when we came out earlier at seven or eight or whatever, and he had like four last night, I had to pull one or two. Yeah. Had a long, a long night. I think I'll pester Tate for quite a while. Everything looks pretty good right now. As long as this calf figures out how to get breakfast. That's kind of what we keep running into with everything. They get them up, get them about halfway dry, and then they just hang out. Quick video of uh, what Tate's night looked like. There's one, two, three, four, sheep is pulled, five, six, seven, that's the one that's caps in that blue box. Eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, and then there's one outside still. It's a uh, busy night for Tate. I think he had to pull two of them. What are we doing? We're getting the same ferret! We're surprising him. guys know know about rolling out in the deep Turning into a muddy mess 
quick. That hill going down the county road that I that's the reason big reason why we quit hauling hay is because we were too chicken to go down that road anymore. And it just thought out enough today that I was comfortable taking a tractor down it, and up it for that matter. Down it's a lot sketchier with loaded with hay. But uh yeah, I guess we got about 12 loads of hay up here with our little trailer train set up. So if I get, should get two loads today, hopefully three loads tomorrow, and we'll just kind of keep nicking away at it a couple at a time. Maybe. One of my favorite parts of the year. The dam is filling up. Should have boat races tomorrow. Bust out the rubber shoes and play in this water. Sometimes I like to hit softballs and golf balls from our yard. And there's two softballs. It's cold again. But we dang sure ran some water. See, this is like the original ice that was on it. It floated it all up. It was below that tree. Now it's halfway over it. And that whole hillside still has to run off. It might make it up over the road. That would be exciting stuff. Looking forward to it. I wish I was organized. This would have taken about half an hour, maybe, if I did it in the fall. I got a tow strap here, hooked to a ratchet. I'll come along around this tree because that thing leans so bad. I'm trying to ratchet that screen over to me. And as soon as I get it to the bank, I'm gonna unchain it and hook my ratchet strap to the screen itself and try to pull it up to this tree. I don't think it's gonna happen, but hypothetically water could get up to this bench right here and cover that whole deal. And if that were to happen, this screen would take off on me. So, inching this this way until I can get, a, get it pulled all the way over. And I'm going to set it on the bank and readjust and hopefully while I'm readjusting it doesn't slide into the river and go to the neighbors or South Dakota or whatever. Someday I'll learn to prioritize. It's my biggest weakness. Prioritizing is tough. Alright, I got a hold of it. Not as much water here so that's nice. I haven't even got too wet yet. I drug it up as far as I could kind of a cumbersome object, but I think it's sitting on the bank good enough I can lower the ratchet, and then I'm going to re-hook to this in my handy tree there, try to pull it up a little farther. We're just trying to tiptoe on high spots across this. It's not, it's not a good day for the old short overshoot. It's a full length overshoot day. Well, that made it reach. It is by no means where I wanted to hook on or how I wanted to hook on. But uh, beggars can't be choosers. Start ratcheting her up, see how it goes. I say see how it goes an awful lot.
a super fast process. See how much it moves each time. See it moving. I can. Whew. Reset, start again. Reset, start again. There. I wasn't expecting to bro break a sweat on this project, but uh, I did. come tomorrow with the skid steer and get this thing drug up all the way up there or something. But it's definitely safer right now. Whew. I'm going to go put some, take some wet socks off and put my shoes on the dryer. Check heifers. Go to bed. Eat a sandwich. Take a nap. I don't know. It's one of those things. Yeah. <laughs> I love that they're color coordinated. Oh, those are your picks. <laughs> what are you doing, Merritt? Just checking your work. All business. <laughs> what are we doing? Just following the bull sale. TD Angus.